everybody, this is Chad from CBW Farms coming at you again. Uh, tonight I'm kind of working alone. Mark is sick, so we've been sick for a few days. So I'm trying to get got a holding bin auger put up. There's our holding bin right here. Uh, that's where the wet corn comes out of. Goes up in that auger, goes up there. The wet corn out of the field is in these wagons. We got four wagons like this. Uh, this is just two of them. Uh, the front one is empty. You can see there's nothing in the window here. And here we're emptying the back wagon right now. It shouldn't take too long, about 10 minutes for the wagon to be empty. A uh, pretty good size auger. We have the 4020 on this auger. And like I said, this auger goes way up there uh, to the holding bin. And we have the 6400 with a brand new loader on it. The 6400 on the holding bin auger. Eventually, this holding bin auger is going to have an electric motor that'll be geared down and that'll run that right up in here so there'll be actually just an electric motor uh, assembly up here instead so everything will shut off automatically in theory uh, it still should shut that that one should still shut off automatically when the top of that bin the top of that bin is where we dry then it drops down as dry corn you know as it fills up with every batch uh, but yeah just the top of that bin is getting filled so that would be not quite two of these wagons. But I got six wagons in here right now. So I know I got plenty of room, or you know, I got plenty of corn to go up in there. But yeah, like I said, we just gotta keep an eye on that auger down there. And that's flowing okay. It's not a very big auger, so I'm almost idling the tractor. Maybe a little over an idle. So like I said, that's just running the PTO, running this auger. This auger we cut about eight feet off of to make it fit, because everything had to fit just in place here to reach and it was too long the way we originally bought it have an electrical box right there you got to be right up against that so there's no room for wiggle so it has to be just right uh, i know you can't see it but on top there we have a tile coming down dropping into a cone of the bin that'll spread that around in there uh, we have a little doggo over there the 8520 is what i'm pulling loads with tonight i'll bring these two loads back out to the field and i'll combine these full again and then I'll bring them back here, and I know I can fit at least one more set, if not two more sets in tonight, yeah, but we'll see how things go, I guess, and, and hopefully Mark gets feeling better, too, and, and tomorrow Breeze will be around, so I know it's kind of loud right around here right now, but <laughs> mostly the street pipe on the 4020 is about the loudest thing that we have here, making the most noise, but you see all the shafts going through the air, I just turned the fan on to that bin, where it'll be gonna be blowing a lot of that chaff out up the top there. You might be able to see that stream there. That's not heat, that's just dust coming out of there. Uh, the corn doesn't have to be dried down far, just knock a point and a half, two points out of it. But uh, yeah, so we're still rolling here yet. We got a little ways to go. Hopefully it won't be too long, but we're gonna have to be waiting for this dryer now after I get this bin filled up. Then we'll be waiting on that batch up on top. It still only takes, oh, 20 minutes, a half an hour to heat up. And then, uh, then we can drop that down the first batch or so. Uh, second, third batches of that will will run cool air to it too. So it'll heat for a while, then it'll shut off and and cool that top before we drop it down. But so there's nothing in the bottom there yet. But yeah, we had an old auger set up there before that was permanently put in. Right there's a little bit of a saddle right by that step there of that bin. So there was an auger that was the electric going up there, but. That was small and it kind of wore out on us so we got a bigger auger now and that auger will be bigger here eventually too coming out of there so we can fill that on oh, maybe a half an hour instead of 45 minutes or whatever but but eventually by next year this will be all automatic where you just flip the switches and make sure that everything shuts off when it's supposed to but so but yeah i gotta keep an eye on my wagon here so it don't run empty it, like I said, it won't take long here. It's already getting down in the windows here, you can see. So I'll be empty here in a couple minutes. So. But that being said, hi, everybody. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you think about it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And be sure you leave a comment there. I'm always willing to hear what everybody says. It might take me a little bit to respond. I'm kind of doing a lot by myself right now. But maybe tonight or something when I get home. But anyhow, love y'all. Stay safe out there. Hopefully harvest is going well for everybody and I will catch you all soon. Bye now.